Hi, let us understand how to roll back a deployment. Already I do have a deployment. Let's get the details about the deployment using describe command. kubectl describe deployment name of the deployment. Here we were having the version 1.14 of Nginx and we updated it to 1.16. So what it did, it created a new replica set and started creating the new pods and uh, it was scaling up. Then it was scaling down the pods in the existing replica set. So this was the rollout status, kubectl rollout status deployment slash engines. This was the rollout history. You can use the command kubectl rollout history deployment slash name of the deployment that is engines dash deployment so two revisions are available the first revision which was created initially then we updated the version that created the second version in case if you wanted to have more specific details about the version we can go ahead and uh, provide the version number along with rollout history command kubectl rollout history deployment slash name of the deployment that is engines dash deployment and uh, provide the version number dash dash revision equal to 2. This was the detail about the version 2 of the deployment. Now we can check the version 1 of the deployment where we had the version engines image as 1.14. It's not necessary always the deployment should go through successfully and uh, there may be a need to roll back the deployment. For understanding purpose, I am going to update the engine's version with a wrong version number. That is a version number which doesn't exist. kubectl set image and uh, provide the version number as 1.161. So the deployment request will be made. Let's check the rollout status. It will keep waiting because the new version of the pod, it will not be in a position to create. Let's check the replica set. This was the replica set which was created initially and uh, when we were updating the version to 1.16.1, a new replica set was created and uh, it brought up the number of pods to 3. Now, when we updated with the wrong version, a new replica set was created and it's trying to create a pod and the pod it's not able to create that we can identify by getting the pods. So image it's uh, not able to pull and it's not creating the pod successfully. We can check the description of the pod. Okay, it's not able to pull the image that specific version not available so error pulling the image now we can check the rollout history we can see the same information as a part of the deployment as well using deployment describe command here the old replica it's having the version 3 by 3 replica and the new replica set it's trying to create but not able to achieve and here we can check the number of replica that is the desired capacity is 3 but it updated 1 total 4 are there out of that 3 are available 1 is in not available status. And this is the default setting for the pods rollout strategy where always it will make sure only 25 percentage of the pods are not available and maximum search that is number of pods which are made available more than desired capacity will be again 25 percentage. This is the default value. Now let's go ahead and uh, check the rollout history, kubectl rollout history deployment and I do have the version count. So three versions are available. Let's check the rollout details for version 3. So this was the image name that we updated for the version 3. And this is for the version 2. Now I can go ahead and roll back to the 
previous version it's an undo operation or any specific version if i want i can go back to the specific version as well so if i want to roll back it will be going back by one version the command is kubectl rollout undo the deployment and then the deployment name this will be rolling back by one step that is the previous version it will be rolling back or if i want to roll back to a specific version i can provide the version number as well see i can roll back to a specific version if i want to go back to version one i can go back so the rollback will be initiated now i can check the rollback history kubectl rollback history deployment now the fourth version got created and uh, i can check the deployment description kubectl describe deployment this is the version of for it got rolled back to because we requested it to roll back to this specific version that is the version one of the deployment where we were maintaining the image version as 1.14.2 within kubernetes the deployment is very very controlled and uh, the number of pods made available and the surge of the pods can also be very well controlled so that we can update the pods without affecting the availability of the pods so we can roll back to any version that we wanted using the command rollout undo